So, hi, my name is Isuko. I'm doing this tutorial to show you guys how to take a Mixamo character to biped and apply BVH data. Alright, so let's get started. Um, so, open up 3ds Max. Um, you want to use uh, whatever dummy character that you have. I found a dummy character many years ago um, and I've always kept it and I, I couldn't really tell you where I got it from um, but this is actually it uh, right here it's just an, uh, an OBJ file import it's fine um, go ahead and scale it up to whatever size uh, that you want. It's not really important necessarily about the size. Um, what is important though is that you save it um, or export it, sorry, um, as an FBX and you can call it whatever you want. I typically call mine um, dummy. Um, so when you hit save the important thing really is to make sure your axis conversion um, is Y up. Uh, so I'm going to hit cancel uh, since I already have that. That that file. And what we're going to do is we're going to go into um, Mixamo. And Mixamo allows you to um, rig characters for free um, if they're less than like 10,000 um, tries which is fantastic for a dummy um, if you're testing out the animations and whatnot um, for UDK which is um, happened to be exactly what I was doing uh, here we go testing so this is my dummy uh, should open it uploads relatively quickly um, so that's always a plus. So there goes my dummy. So you click yes, you click rig. Hopefully your character is symmetrical. Um, I absolutely love the little zoom function that they give you so you can place it exactly on his chin. Um, and then uh, on his wrist or whatnot, and like to actually see this in action, it's pretty surprising. Um, I really thought I was gonna have a whole lot of terrible deformations, um, but you know, then again, this is a uh, dummy character, so um, it's not you know not that serious. Uh, but. <clears throat> the idea really behind it is to uh, be able to quickly, you know, just mess around with the BVH data and to import the whole thing really into UDK to just to test your level, to run around um, and whatnot as you uh, build. So the rigging goes relatively quickly. Um, so. So you can see, you know, the character is really, really rigged, like, um, he moves pretty well. You can change it to, you know, running. I usually like to do running so you can, you know, make sure it sort of bends pretty well or whatnot. Um, and it's great, like I said, for a dummy character. Uh, so we're going to hit finish, and they have other options where you can search for animations. They really only have, like, two free ones um, if you're just messing around. Um, sorry, you just skip it and go um, just hit um, buy or whatnot. there's nothing to actually buy since it's less than 10k um, tries and so then you just get to um, hit download and it downloads to wherever you want it um, so once that's done 
uh, you go back into 3ds Max and you open up uh, wherever you saved your rig file um, I saved mine to the desktop I end up typically saving stuff to desktop. Find it a little easier. Um, right, so I renamed it to um, Rig Dummy um, Y up to separate um, between all the other ones I did. Um, so when you open it, you should um, System Max always has Z up, um, but your FBX file should read. Um, Y up. So this is what the uh, character looks like, or whatnot, after you um, have rigged it, or whatnot. Um, mm. There is a script that you can get from the Maximo site. Uh, it's, pro it's under help, maybe. I don't really know um, offhand. You might just be able to do a, a simple search for it or whatnot. Um, but they they do they give you a script that will automatically convert your uh, Maximo character to a biped, and so you just hit Run Script. Um, it's called Maximo Auto Biped, and then you just click on Auto uh, Biped, and you hit Open. It brings up this little box, and you hit Create. So it quickly um, conforms the biped to the current character rig and close that out. Screen a little bit bigger. I really hate that realistic uh, view. Um, to this thing. We'll get back to that. What I want to do next is actually systems create another biped. It doesn't really matter um, the height of that. What I also want to do at that point is you want to select, uh, yeah, uh, the biped um, root. I think of what it was called. And then go over to the motion tab. And I actually had to hit the uh, batch file conversion. And so you can select your source. Um, I think of where I put it. Um, so this is the raw BVH data um, from uh, CMU, you, it's free. They have a whole lot of files um, and you can sort through them all. Okay, we'll just use this one, that's fine. So, back damage, um, hit open browse to whatever place you want to put it. I'm putting it back in testing. Uh, use path. Uh, hit OK. Um, it, it, just leave it um, in the Z if it's not or uh, whatnot. Um, I actually can't even click on anything else. Um, at one point I could. Um, so just um, hit OK shouldn't have any problems. It converts your current biped rig into something like funny looking something um, or whatnot. And you can see it, the small biped uh, moves just fine. Um, just increase the length to 
Okay, I don't know how long that thing is. Let's see what frame that actually is. Okay, so... 737 is what we're looking at. 737. Okay. Alright, so we want to go back to the listing. Put that back at zero. Um, and select the biped for your actual rigged character and hit OK. Just going to move that back there. Um, and then you want to hit uh, the motion capture. Uh, little camera icon, the first one, and you want to navigate to where you put the um, the file you just converted. What it actually does is it converts the BVH data to um, BIP data, um, so it's a little. It, I guess it fits a little bit better, or it's easier. Um, Um, again, the settings come up. I don't really have an option. Um, hit OK. Uh, no errors. The Your actual rigged character should literally stand on top of the um, just the skeletal rig you did. And you should hit play and There you go. <laughs> um, thank you for watching my tutorial. Feel free to post comments and let me know what you think. Um, also, if you have any questions or anything, um, I will try and provide the links for um, the CMU BBH data. Um, and maybe if I can find it, the script or whatnot from maximo.com. So, see you later.